Blood thinners often have a misconception that they're given to an individual to help break up one's already existing blood clot, but actually they work to help eliminate further blood clots from happening. So let's break down how blood thinners work. And you may have heard blood thinners by their more scientific name as anticoagulants, which the name speaks for itself, stopping the coagulation or the sticking together of one's blood platelets. Now, if you remember from one of our prior videos looking at how blood clots form, blood clots actually occur as a way to repair an injury to one's blood vessels. If there's damage or injury that occurs to the blood vessels, then certain clotting factors and clotting signals will be released to help allow those different platelets to begin sticking together and repair that site of injury. And some of those different factors include thrombin as well as fibrin. But if that blood clot is not broken down by the body after that injury is repaired, that's when that blood clot can be sent into the bloodstream and cause some serious consequences to other organs, such as our heart or even our brain. But if we look at blood thinners, these actually take advantage of some of the mechanisms that are used in order for a blood clot to begin forming. So certain blood thinners actually target different proteins like thrombin and deactivate them. So that way that network that allows the different platelets to begin sticking together is gone. Therefore the platelets are not able to begin sticking together and no more blood clots will be forming when one is taking that medication. There's also another medication called warfarin, which actually targets vitamin K and it acts as a mimic of vitamin K, but it doesn't work in the same way. And vitamin K is necessary to intertwine into that network to also allow for blood clots to occur. So by stopping vitamin K from being in there, again, those blood platelets are not going to be able to begin sticking together and the blood clot is not going to form. So therefore it allows for an easier flow of blood through our blood vessels and these blood thinners can also be taken orally or they can even be given through an IV injection through long acting injectables, meaning one could get this injection and then it would last for a few weeks, slowly releasing that drug over time so one doesn't need to take a constant daily oral pill. So be sure to subscribe below for more information related to breaking down different scientific concepts in just a few minutes.